Hey guys, today we are unboxing Darksiders Death, the definitive edition, which is exclusive to First Four Figures. Um, this one comes with extra claw weapons and a light up feature. Um, this was 670 US dollars for the definitive edition, which is pretty expensive. Um, and they only made 950 pieces of this uh, version. Now, they did make more of the two other versions, the regular and the exclusive. So we're going to look at this and it comes in a second box. So let's open the second box. Alright, so as always we get this nice art box with uh, pictures of the statue, a description on the back with your product number, more pictures of the statue, and we have the top here with just Darksiders Death. So we have the authenticity card over here, pretty cool. Right, we have all our parts here, it's pretty well protected. Um, the exclusive version comes with a lighter feature, so you do get a wire and a battery for that. And we're just going to uh, assemble this right now. So I got my number over here, number 62 out of 950, and let's put the battery in right now. Okay, so that was pretty easy to assemble. Uh, there's not a lot of pieces to it, so super, super easy. Um, we have the button, the button for the lighter feature here. And it's a little 360. Let's turn the light on. There we go. Now here is the definitive uh, weapon, so the claws. And here's a little 360 of those. So cool extra weapons. Now I do prefer the sights. I think they're just so much more iconic. So we'll put those back on. And here's a lighter feature. Here's the second mode. So it's this sort of like uh, pulsating mode on um, the amulet shards. Amulet shards on his chest. So nice little extra mode. And we have the eyes over here, which are lighting up in yellow. And here's what it looks like with the light off. So if you get the regular version, there's no light feature. And that's what it's gonna look like. Still looks good. So now let's look at the details on this. And I gotta say, I'm really, really happy uh, with the detailing, like the sculpt and the paint app. Um, like the metallic parts really look, uh, they really have that nice kind of metallic finish to them. And you can see here like all of the bones, even the skin has a lot of detail to it, a lot of kind of grain to it and lots of shades in it. His uh, outfit, like the bones, I think you can see here what I mean, like the detailing on this is really really good. And I mean, I guess that's what you'd expect given the price. $670 is like really expensive for what this is. Um, but yeah, the details on this are just really, really, really good. Um, we have this piece over here, which is actually mixed media. And the one on the top here, the clot at the top of his... Uh, around his neck here is actually resin and you can see here like in his back just the detail in the skin 
the, the, the colors painted on it and the sculpt. Really, really cool looking statue. So now we're going to look at the size of this. So this statue is 1 6 scale, but it's 15 inches tall, which is uh, about... Uh, about 38 centimeters. So here's a comparison with um, other Darksider stuff. So we have the Darksiders 2 Collector's Edition with the life-size mask. And we have um, the game on PlayStation 3. So not a small statue. Um, it's 1-6 scale, but it's bigger than your average 1-6 scale statue, simply because Death is uh, he's a big guy in the games. He's bigger than the than a human being, so so that's why it's bigger than your average uh, one six scale statue. And here we have it in my collection beside the gigantic Death by Project Three Force um, and the first four figures of War. So looking pretty good. It does look small, but again, it's just because the Death and Dust statue in the middle. I think it's like. Uh, 34 inches tall, something crazy like that. So it's it's over three feet tall. And here they are with the light of feature on, so pretty cool. And here I just want to show you guys kind of a comparison with the Project 34 statue. So the first four figure statue has so much more detail to it. You can see here just the bones, um, like all of the sculpt details and the paint details. The skin and the cloth, they all have so much more detail sculpted on them, but also painted on them. Compared to the 3-4 statue here, which is kind of flat. There's not that much detail, like that much small detail to it. So, really, really good job on that from, uh, from First 4 Figures. So, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Here it is in my collection with other statues. Again, it looks small because all of the <laughs> statues over here are gigantic. Cool statue. I do recommend getting it if you're a fan of Darksiders. I do think it's on the expensive side. 670 is very high for this. Um, I feel like, you know, 500 should have been kind of the maximum uh, that they should have asked for this. There was a little discount if you ordered it early, but still, it was still kind of pretty expensive. But yeah, I, I don't regret getting it. Really cool statue. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.